Louisiana Beer Reviews, straight to ales, Monkey Knot India Pale Ale, 7.5% alcohol, brewed in honor of the Space Monkeys. The IBUs are 75, and this is from Alabama, and it was brewed less than two months ago. It's got the date, guys. All right. Finally, a can or bottle with the born on date. Oh, well, I guess about half the time they'll have a born on date. All right. Um, Gets a 77 on Beer Advocate, which they call very good. 74 on Untapped, so 74, 77, and then on Rape Beer, it's 89 out of 100, and an 86 out of 100 in the style, the Double India Pale Ale. Okay, here's the glass. <coughs> Bought it yesterday, probably break it soon enough because I have a tendency to break these glasses. Especially if, if I really like them. All right. There are some video reviews I noticed, so I'll be trying to watch those. That is a soapy head, and it's off white, and there's actually two shades of white white and less white. And it's bright orange, yes, very bright orange with some bubble streams and it is quite a lot of bubble streams and I think, yeah, there's powdery sediment which obscures it so it's opaque. You can't, you can see a little bit of shadow through it, can't see much. All right, the aroma. The aroma. Um, it's fruity. There's a strong bread crust. Like, I'm thinking of the brand of bread, like Wonder Bread crust. <clears throat> hmm, very crusty. That's the predominant note, really. Not fruit. It's got to be one of the breadiest India Pale oh, I've ever smelt. It's a good aroma though. It's kind of intense or harsh even, but, but not a bad harsh. Just, uh, I shouldn't say intense, uh, harsh, a uh, bold, bold. That's a better term. Let's go with the taste. It's very bready and the flavor, but um, there is some tropical fruit taste also from the hops. I don't know what their ingredients are. Didn't see anything about it on their website. Like mango or some kind of citrus peel. I think the bitterness is going to build. Very prickly carbonation, a high medium mouthfeel, and a drying finish. Any other flavors? The bread crust, bready, malty. It's a very malty, and the oldest listing on Beer Advocate, I think, was from 2010, so it's been around a long time. This is what we used to think of 10 years ago. At Double IPAs. Very malty with a strong bitterness going along with the malt and this orange appearance. Hazy, but not that milky hazy, you know, like you see today. And more, more bready and bitter than juicy. So how would I score it? I think it's a dynamite product. Fantastic product, really. And for $1.99 for a sample, 
I can't complain at all. Oh no. I will have to go with a 95 out of 100, most excellent. So an A, an A beer, 95 out of 100, laissez les bon temps relay. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. <laughs>